Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Abs Daily News. This today is episode number six, and we talk about the, what kind of players the Montreal Canadian draft as the first overall pick for 2022. Don't go nowhere. Yes, you know the drill. Please don't forget to click on the likes, uh, subscribe to the show, sharing this video, and at the end of the video, please uh, below, give me your comments about this video, who, which player the Montreal Canadiens should draft as a first overall pick. Uh, let's dive in talking, talking about the first round pick. Uh, we know they win the lottery a couple of days ago. Today, we're going to talk about uh, their need for that Montreal what they're looking for. And finally, I'm going to give you three top prospects what the Montreal uh, should look and maybe pick one of them. At the end of the video, I'm talking about the Laval Rockets uh, series. Uh, they are right now, again, the Syrac Syracuse Crunch. Uh, 42 years ago, the Montreal Canadiens draft first overall pick. This is the last time they did it, and they pick the number 25, Doug Wickenheiser, over Denis Savard, I'm not going to talk about more about this selection. You know the history of this pick. The Montreal Canadiens, what they need, they have two positions I believe is really important. The center and the right defenseman. Ken Hughes, during an, inter uh, an interview with the TVA Sport French Channel TV, talk about the looking for the players where you have a great character, a player with speed, but also a great IQ and vision. And this part of the what they want to build a great culture at Montreal Canadiens. For me, they have three prospects we can look. As a center, first of all, Shane Wright. As a winger, Gerard Slavkowski. And finally, as a defenseman, a lot of people talk about Simon Nemec and David Cherechek. But I'm going to focus more on Simon Nemec. I'm going to hide myself, guys. I will give you a better chance to see better the graphic. I'm going to give you what I heard and what I read. And I'm, I just copy those information to give to you what kind of the comments we got from different expert about the prospect in NHL. First of all, Shane Wright, uh, we know a lot of people compare him as front player like Nico Urshire. Uh, he is a great two-way center. He has a great IQ. And I'm not going to read everything here. What I would like to suggest to you guys, take a moment to a uh, screenshot or uh, pause the video and read what the people think about this. This comment is coming from the Atlantic website by M. Marc-André Gaudin. Talk about what kind of player is Shane Wright play right now for the Kingston Frontenac uh, and OHL. Uh, this is another website from, uh, said Bob McKenzie from TSN, one and a great expert in the prospect said, he's not an elite skater, but he's a strong skater. He's an uh, excellent, well, some scout believe he will have more goal assists in any given NHL season. He's also a very good playmaker who makes everyone he plays with better. He's a smart, but he also got some grits on his game. He leads, by example, outstanding work ethic, a character he's viewing as an A+. Plus. And that's what I'm dealing with right now, that people think about him. Some people see him as a 6-foot. Some said he's a 6-1. Some said 185. Some said 187. The guy is uh, did 94 points this year. And a little bit over 63 game, I believe. And OHL is a great, great, smart hockey player. One thing I will say to you finally about him, he's a prospect. He's a prospect where they really believe he is a potentially an elite two-way center. Many people compare to him to Patrice Bergeron. I think this really not right to say that. I think more like an Elias, Elias Langholm or Sebastian Ao. That's a the kind of player I believe he's going to be in the NHL. Some compare him to Nico Urshara, like I said earlier. But uh, the potential for him is great to become a great hockey player in the NHL. At a punch, one and two with Zuski could be a great 
for the future of the Montreal Canadiens. Jurad Sakonski, guys. I'm not going to talk much about him. You can see his, um, his uh, value of the guy is a six foot, 3.5 inches, 220 pounds on Mose. Many people consider him as a ranking number two in NHL. He's skating, hockey skill, hockey sense, all about the most average, but his shot is above NHL average. And again, he have a great year. He's, he played on the TPS uh, on the Finland professional elite uh, team over there. Have an amazing, great Olympics. He was the, the MVP of the Olympics in China. He have a great, uh, like I said, really puck protection he got. He's solid, he's strong. Funny people talk about him also is a really a power a forward and again take a time to read about him i think his size is one of the reason why he's at the top five players in initial draft in a draft in 2022 uh, some people challenge him become maybe the first overall pick but again we're going to see him during the world championship this week and next week we're going to see how he's going how he play again the more like older players around the, that tournament in finland uh, this week. Um, the next one I want to talk about is uh, the right defenseman, Simon Nemec. Uh, six foot, 190, top five. Again, you have a great average skating, puck skill, but hockey sin and compete is above. Uh, he was, again, a great hockey player, well skater. He's well, well, overall, he's a great def defenseman player both ways, defensive and also forward offensive. And a lot of people consider him possible to be a top one or two defenseman at any team in NHL. Some see him like maybe on the second pairing. He's always going to develop. But his IQ vision in fluid skating is really what makes him one of the top best defensemen for the NHL Draft 2022. Again, like I mentioned, guys, click on the screenshot of your desktop or Post this video to read more about Simone Emek. Finally, the only news I have for the Montreal Canadian in talking about the Laval Rocket, the series is 1-1. They play against Syracuse Crunch. They play tonight and Saturday night at the, at the Bell Center where they open up the full big Montreal Canadian home and we expect a big crowd over there and with that kind of people, fans behind the Laval Rocket that would give, maybe give them a chance to take the lead tonight. Again, the Syracuse Crunch, we're going to follow this game and bring to you tomorrow the news about the result of the or the outcome of this game. Finally, the next episode, number seven, tomorrow, we're going to talk about the abs trade possible or not the first round pick overall 2022. Coming back tomorrow and let's talking about the that possibilities. Guys, this concludes again another episode of the Abs Daily News. We talk about three different prospects. Also, we talk about different positions where the Montreal are looking to fill up. Is it a center? Is it a winger? Or is it a right defenseman? So uh, let please let me your comments uh, below this video. And finally, don't forget to click on the likes and sharing this video. And remember, every day at 11 o'clock a.m., I bring you another video about the Abs Daily News series uh, with the hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchy. You have greatness inside of you. 